Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and today, guys, I'm going to show you how to upgrade all the process of upgrading your Windows 7 machine to Windows 10. So, as you know, July 29th is around the corner, and I want to show you guys what you're going to expect or what you're going to see. Now, first things first, please back up your machines. This is very important, guys. Do not trust any type of update that Microsoft is going to push out for you guys. Uh, this update is a huge, huge update. So please, the week of the July 29th, please back up your system. Back up your files, okay? So I have my Windows 7 right here. One of the core requirements that you have to have is Windows 7 Service Pack 1. I have the Professional Edition, as you can see. Uh, for Windows 7 Enterprise users, this is mostly something that your admin supposed to be pushing out for you guys so uh, most likely you have a nice little icon at the taskbar indicating that you could reserve your Windows 10 I don't have that here but what I do have is I downloaded an ISO and within the ISO I, I'm just gonna show you guys what you probably gonna see so let's mount my ISO so I'm gonna go in my virtual machine this is a virtual machine because I want to test everything out and I'm going to go to the CD, go to Browse, and I'm going to push out the latest and greatest uh, build, which is 101.62, which is what we're probably going to see on July 29th. So I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to close this up. Most likely, I should get the little window. As you can see, uh, it looks like Windows is preparing itself. This is probably something that you might see during July 29th. This little window probably is going to pop out out of nowhere and starts preparing itself. It's going to start checking itself and uh, seeing if your machine is capable of doing it. So you're going to get this. So uh, get important updates. Uh, these updates will help installation go smoothly and you can include important fixes and update devices, drivers. If you don't install these updates now, you will get them later for Windows updates. So I'm assuming that this right here uh, is something that Windows already pushed down to your machine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm assuming that this is gonna take for a while. Uh, so I'm just gonna click next. It's checking the PC. It's getting everything ready. This is pretty good. Uh, right now, from my understanding, it looks like Windows 10 is supposed to be supported in all the machines. Okay, so they prompt me a key. Most likely, you guys might not see a, a prompt for a product key. Uh, and the reason why I'm getting a product key dialog box, a couple of reasons. One, I'm using a build. And two, this Windows 7 uh, Service Pack virtual machine that I'm using for testing wise is not licensed. So I am going to paste the license that they, you know, they provide people to uh, test out the build. So let's click on next on that. Got a nice little license and terms. Let's accept that. And right now it's making sure that. Uh, you're ready to install. So again, this is probably something that you're going to see on July 29th. You're going to get a dialog box preparing itself. You probably have something to agree, like a license and terms agreement. You're probably not going to see the product key dialog box because again, the, the Windows 10 is free. And uh, once you accept whatever you accept, you're probably going to get something like this. It's going to try to, uh, again, make sure that your machine is capable of installing yourself. Now, when you do any upgrade, because this is what you're doing, guys, you're not doing a complete full wipe and a reinstallation. You are doing an upgrade. When you do an upgrade and you go inside your computer, remember, computer is not going to be computer anymore. It's going to be this PC. And you go inside your C drive and your Windows folder. Now, this Windows folder is going to be changed or you're going to get another Windows folder that's going to say Windows.old. Now, Windows.old is your original operating system, your Windows 7 operating system, or your Windows 8.1 operating system. So right now, as you can see, it says you, you won't be able to use PC while uh, the Windows install. Save and close all your files before you begin. To recap, you chose install Windows 10 Pro Insider Pro, keep Windows settings personal defined, blah, blah, blah. You could change what you want to keep. So let's click on that. So you can keep personal files. This is what we want when you want to keep the personal files and settings um, and apps. Uh, keep personal files only or nothing. I'm going to keep this one because this is a default one. And now it's making sure that your PC has enough space for the upgrade. 
And again, you're probably not going to see Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview. You're going to probably see Windows 10 Professional. Uh, but again, I'm just using the build. So let's click install. And the screen just full screen right now with a installing Windows 10. Great. And, I, and I'm assuming that's what Microsoft is going to be pushing out an upgrade for you guys. So I'm going to let this happen. Uh, it's in 3%. Again, it's going to take some time because it's a huge, huge, huge upgrade that Microsoft is pushing out to you guys as a Windows update. All right, guys, as you can see, it looks like it's upgrading Windows. Your PC will restart several times. Sit back and relax, which I told you guys. Right now it is in zero, but again, it's going to take a sweet time and it's copying files 1%. Again, uh, you saw the blue screen. It looks like it was preparing itself or copying whatever files it needed on the machine for it to work properly. So that's probably something that you guys are going to see once that's happening or once that's done. It's going to restart your machine and you're going to get this. And once you get this, just sit back and relax because now Windows is taking over your machine and it's upgrading it. And once it's completed, it's going to boot into Windows 10. Hey guys, and we are back. Our Windows 7 machine has finally, finally upgraded to Windows 10. Uh, most likely when your upgrade is done, you're going to get this. It's going to welcome you back. Uh, and that's the account that I had on my machine. So we're going to click on next. Oh, look at this. Just the new settings. Let's use uh, use Express settings. The new apps for the new windows. They give you a breakdown. What's new? You click on next. And it's finalizing your settings. How awesome is that? And we are finally logged into our new upgrade our windows 10 operating system this is pretty awesome as you guys saw hopefully you guys caught that i created or had a btn hd folder with a bunch of files it looks like with the upgrade it uh it carried over it i didn't lose that so that's pretty awesome now uh before i end this video i want to show you guys one quick thing so let's go inside our file explorer so to click on start file explorer which is the same thing as windows explorer and I want to get into this PC and I want to get into the C drive. And as you can see, guys, like I mentioned before, Windows dot old is the old Windows folder from your old operating system. So that's pretty awesome. And this is the new one. And, and that's it, guys. That is how you upgrade your current operating system to Windows 10. Hopefully everything goes well for you guys. Three things before I let you guys go. One, make sure you back up all your files before July 29th. Check your backup. Make sure it's nice and clean and you're able to retrieve the files that you backed up. Have copies of all your software that you installed on your machine with the serial keys. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Please leave comments below. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.